Every year, the television and radio industry have a big grand dinner in London. Yes, and they have their award ceremony where they all slap each other on the backs and say, aren't we doing wonderfully well? I'm very surprised, but my name has been added to the list of news presenters. Yes, you can vote for me alongside all the others that work for the BBC and Sky and ITV. Goodness knows how I made the short list, but there we are. I'm rather pleased. And I've been asking people to vote for me over the last few days. Slight problem, the website keeps crashing. Now, I'm not going to say this is a stolen election or anything like that, because they do keep mending it. But today, I've had a really added incentive as to why I think me winning this, shocking, shocking the elite establishment, ruining their lovely night out at a big black tie dinner in London, a real reason why this now makes perfect sense. Have a listen to this little clip. And it's interesting. It's Nick Robinson, BBC Radio 4's Today programme, talking to Jacob Rees-Mogg. And Mogg is not happy because Rishi Sunak has binned all of his promises to get rid of thousands of EU laws. Now, you know, I'm not surprised. Sunak's not a Brexiter. He's a globalist. But that's not what this video is all about. Have a listen to this. OK. Now, you're now a TV host. We I see. am on GB News between yeah. 8 and 9 o'clock. Well, I have to tell evening. our audience, because yes. there are not that many people that watch, but you will face a choice when it comes to a general... So who the hell does Nick Robinson think he is? Who would Nick Robinson be if he wasn't working for BBC Radio 4? How many people would tune in to watch or listen to Nick Robinson if he wasn't part of that organisation? Well, the answer is very, very few. But just the way he said it, you know, big salary... Funded, of course, by you, because you have to buy a TV licence. And the sheer arrogance and ignorance of these people is beyond belief, which gives me an added incentive to try and win these annual trick awards. Um, and you can vote for me. A lot have already. I honestly think we've got a chance of winning this, of stunning the establishment and of showing them that the, you know, the bubble of their complacency is about to be pricked and burst, and that GB News is a very good way of doing it. So please, please, please click the link below here, go to trick.org.uk, vote for me. Voting closes at five o'clock tomorrow. And if you have trouble getting through, if the website crashes, please be persistent. We've got to win this one. It's about time. Nick Robinson and the BBC were sent a message that they simply won't be able to forget.